Hello everyone, welcome to my new course on custom layout. In this video, let me try to explain you the content of this particular course. So the, so the first topic that we will be looking into is the inception of layout, a CMOS fabrication process. So this will be a 16 mass process that we will look into and why we are, why we are looking into this particular topic. When you look into layout, it's nothing but a set of masks. It's a collection of masks and this masks, masks are used for photolithography processes in your, in your actual fabrication process. So the way we draw these layouts actually decides your resistance capacitances and and the timing of your and the, any timing of, a, of of any of your design so this is very really very important to understand what are those factors and parameters that that affects the layout okay and as a result of that we'll look into the cmos fabrication process we'll look into the 16 mass process which is by far the most advanced process that we have there are there are again more advanced than the 16 mass process that we have in the industries but but the 16 mass process is the one which, where we can where we can start off with and it's the most complex and 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 the very very detailed way to understand any fabrication process so we'll start the 16 mass process in in, in this particular topic next we'll be looking into uh, next will be the introduction to corner stretching and tech files so this this is the step where where we will actually download and install a magic tool magic is a software which is used to draw layouts and this particular topic will help you to understand how does a tool behaves in when we when we talk about layout so what what is the source code of magic and all those things we'll also look into how to build our own tech files and how does the tech files represent your cmos fabrication process Okay, and then the corner stitching is the software part of it. It's basically more uh, more of an algorithm. How does the magic tool behave? So basically, if you see this particular cursor which I'm moving moving over here, how does this cursor behaves? Why it is moving from this direction to this direction, and what are the algorithms that goes behind it? So those will be we will talk more about that using corner stitching. Okay, so that will be the the second topic that we are planning to cover. The third one will be the first CMOS layout that we will draw from our from our own tech file. So these first two topics are the ones where we are going to write our own tech files and understand the software behind the magic tool, and we'll use these two concepts and draw our first CMOS CMOS inverter. So so the, the tech files uh, tech files will be our own. We'll take these tech files. We'll draw the CMOS inverter layout by hand and then we'll take this layout and simulate it against against spice. So we'll see how does the timing varies and what all parameters are needed to vary the CMOS or to vary the delay of a CMOS inverter. So this will be a completely layout plus timing simulations. Okay. That is the third topic that we plan to cover and the last one is the art of layout so it's basically all its path and stick diagram so when when you are given a complex function so this is cmos layout is a very cmos inverter is a very simple function it's the output is just the in, inversion of your input but when you are given a very complex function let's say let's something about something about a full adder a full adder or half adder or even more complex than that how do you draw the layout so in that case this there, there, there is a there is a theorem for you there is a euler's theorem which we will use and we will we'll trace the layout will trace the paths using Euler's paths and then will draw a preliminary layout using stick diagrams and that can be very easily converted to a layout so this is this is where you will learn the art of layout you, you will learn how, what all are the parameters that needs to be touched upon to have the best layout and to have the compact layout between two different power layouts. so this is where you will learn actual actual layout stuffs okay and finally the, the references that we have used for this course we have used open circuit design we have, we have used tools from opencircuitdesign.com okay this site is the one which is uh, which is which has all the installation files for your magic tool and for the fabrication process we have used the we have, we have used a book called as fundamentals practice and modeling by plumber dill and griffin so these are the two references very interesting references and very interesting books that we have that that we have used to to, to come up with this particular course Okay, so what we'll do is in from the next video, we'll start from looking into the inception of layout, the 16 mass process, which is basically a CMOS, complete CMOS fabrication process right from the gate level to the metal tool, a metal 12 level where, so to, uh, to, to the metal one or metal two level where we actually package the chip and bring the, uh, bring the contacts out of the chip. So all this will be covered in the 16 mass process. So let's start from the 16 mass pro CMOS process from the next video. Thank you.